river's name I never knew her but I loved her just the same I loved the name Wisdom Sabi ni ano ni uh, Irene yung old yung kinanta mo. Oo. Oh, oh. Miss Irene Celebre, hope you can be their guest again. Oh Irene, bumalik ka daw dito sabi ni Raquel Balolong Paulson. Okay, so lamig boses Sir Tony, kala mo lang yun Maring Carlota. Oh. <laughs> okay, Aubrey, one of my songs, uh, one of the songs I liked during my high school years. High school years pa yon. Okay, hello Manang Ray, nice to see you. Your sweet smile again. Oh, hello Bobot! Nanonood si Bobot Ramos sa Cebu. Uh, anak ni uh, Kuya Roger Ramos. Uh, nanunod naman sila sa bahay ngayon na uh, kasama si Manay Neneng uh, at uh, they're, they're, not, they're uh, having their vacation from Guam. Okay, so see you later ba, Fox, ha? Mamaya babalik ako dyan, ma maganda tayo. Mag, uh, ano yun? Mamashell tayo. <laughs> Bobot and, hi Kathleen, yung asawa ni Bobot. Good morning sa inyo dyan sa Cebu City. Okay, tulit tayo and song once again, song time once again ito naman. Medyo mabilis ng konti para, uh, ano yun, sumigla naman ang ating kapaligiran. Oh, okay. oh, kakantahan kayo ni Baby Cora, but Bautista Garcia. Hi, babes! Hello po, good morning po sa ating lahat, lalo-lalo na po sa mga nanonood mm -hmm. sa ating palatuntunan. Yes! Uh, babating ko po yung mga doktor, ayan, yung mga nag-alaga sa aking apo, marami salamat! Oh, yung nga palang apo mo, no? Pero mo ate, akala ko kung anong allergy yun. Alam mm. mo kung pagkita ng doktor, mm. bungang araw! Wow! Imagine, wala pa isang buwan yung bata, may bungang araw, kahit naka-aircon. Si, ja <laughs> si Chas? Si Chas. Wow! Oh, oh. Oh, eh, uh, hindi talaga naman sa init ngayon ng panahon, kahit araw-araw yung paligo sa bata, oh, okay. talagang heat will uh, enter the skin. Kita uh, nyo naman ang aking bagong role ngayon. Oh, oh, Lola's God. duty, magpaligo <laughs> ng apo. Apostolic duties. <laughs> Siya. Apostolic duty ng oh, Lola. Yeah. Pero uh -oh. ngayon, hindi ka muna Lola. Singer ka Singer muna ngayon. Singer muna ako oh. ngayon. Pagbigyan niyo ako. Uh, gayon din po sa darating naming reunion mm -hmm. sa August 19, Eskwela Hang Munti ni Katino Lapus. Ayan. Magkita-kita po tayo. Okay. Para sa inyo lahat, ito po, Baby Cora sa kanya. Beautiful Sunday. Yeah. Yes. So beautiful day. I've got someone waiting for me. When I see you, I know he will say, Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 beautiful Sunday. This 
It's a beautiful day. Birds are singing, you by my side. Let's take a car and go for a ride. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. We'll drive on and follow the sun, making Sunday go on and on. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 beautiful Sunday. This is my, my, my beautiful day. When you said, 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 said that you loved me. Whoa, oh my, my, my. It's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 beautiful Sunday. This is my, my, my beautiful day. When you said, 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 said that you loved me. It's a beautiful day. Thank you. Salamat po. Day. Salamat naman at mukhang okay na si Mami Idol ko. Di po ba, Mami Ray? Oh, hindi naman siya nagkasakit. Actually, uh, uh, nagpa-general check-up siya. No? Uh, kasi yung mga kasukasuan niya, <laughs> ayaw nang mag-cooperate sa kanya. <laughs> Okay. Uh, buti naman lang may, may binigay na gamot si Rafael, no? Kay uh, Maring Ray at na nakatulong. Hi babe, sa pag pampag good vibes yan ah. Kasi beautiful mo ang Sunday dahil napakasigla ng inawit mo. Okay, thank you very much, Esther. Tuloy tayo sa ating mga Ano 'yon? <laughs> Raymond ha. Ah, oo nga, kanina pa, kanina pa tayo pinaglalaruan Oo, oh, oh. kanina nawawala yung salamin ko Yung pala nandun sa mipa ako <laughs> Ha? Oo, oh, oh, tinago Tapos nung, nung makita, tawa siya ng tawa ka mo Oo, oh, oh. sige uh, Alam mo naman, pag wala akong masalamin Hindi ako makabasa ng mga lyrics ko Pero nag-sorry naman siya ate Ay, alam mo, good friends naman Good friends natin yung mga yan eh Kaya mga karot mm. Kamukha mo, haro. Daldal ka ng dalal, wala ka sa mikropono. Lumapit ka sa mikropono. Ano sa mikropono? Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, ay nga pala gusto kong pasalamatan si Renchin at saka si John Mark. Dat napakaganda ng ating background ngayon. Very beautiful. Uh, masyado, t- para tayong, oo, oh, 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 para tayong uh, nasa, ano, nasa stage talaga, no? Oo, oh, oh. ganda-ganda ng ating background. I would like to uh, also greet the sergeant katunggal nandito ba siya a ah, major pa <laughs> din ko na naman siya so <laughs> major major katunggal good morning po <laughs> isa sa mga uh, heads natin dito sa DWD sa CRS okay ver kumanta ka na nga pa 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 ko dito hello good morning to this at the salad at the pakalig na sama sama salo salo you look so young oh ano nangyari <laughs> <laughs> Oo, medyo uh, ah, baka nasa damit mo. Oo, hindi eh, kasi, na. Kasi kanina mm, nag-picture kami ni, ano, ni? Ni Ayon. Nakuha ko yung mo. Hindi, hindi Ayon. Iba si Ayon. Nakawa ko sa ba? Hindi. Tama ate, yung guest natin kahawig ni Ayon. Oo, eh mas guwapo naman yan kay Ayon. Talaga. Okay. Hindi, sabi mo kasi, sabi ko sa'yo nung, ano, sabi mo nga kamukha mo yung guest natin. Oo, nung bata ka. Eh, anong nangyari ngayon? Wala na. Wala na. 
Okay. O, oh, sige na nga, kumanta ka na. Ah, maganda yung kakantahin ni Verda yan ngayon. Oo. Isa yan sa mga uh, favorite song ko nung araw na kinanta naman ni El Masculino sa Grand Tour. Okay. At saka ito, sa, isa, isa to sa mga winning song ko na kayo rumarakit sa mga amateur ng araw. Oo. Oh, oh, yan ang isa sa mga pambato mo ng araw. No? Pagka kinanta mo yan, tsak, meron kang premyo. Ito na po. Hello, Helen. Good morning. Yeah, Ito. Exactly Kita same. tayo sa Sunday, Helen, ha? Okay. Uh-huh. Sure na yun. Sure oh, sure na sure yun. Ito, Jose Berta. Yap sa kanya nga awitin, Domino. 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 You can change though you try. Domino, you're a devil designed to torment me when your heart must know that I love you. Just one look in your eyes And I melt with desire Just a touch of your hand And I burst into fire And my whole world filled with me When I'm lost in your embrace Domino, Domino Won't you tell me you'll never desert me Domino, Domino If you stay, I don't care how you hurt me. Fate has made you so you can change. I know you can change, though you try. Domino, 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 you can change though you try, Domino. Thank you. Salat. Thank you very much. So, so ang ganda-ganda ng kanta ngayon. Nakakaindayog pagka yung uh, pinapakinggan mo. Hi, Sky Bart. Hi, Bartolome. Yung aking uh, kadamya. Yung aking uh, batchmate nung, uh, nung taong yun. Okay. <laughs> Sunday blessings din sa'yo. God bless too. Okay. Tuloy tayo. And uh, 
Ito na, kakantahin ng aking kumare. Uh, yung kanyang kakantahin ni gusto kong i, ano, ihandog sa lahat ng mga naghihintay ng kanyang uh, inihandang awitin. I think it's a ano, Spanish number ba yan, Maren? Spanish ba yung kakantahin mo? Hindi ko rin alam kung ano to. Ha? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ilokano ako eh. Ano ang kakantahin ko? Isaya, pero hindi ko alam kung ah, okay. waray, okay. sibuano, sibuano daw sabi ni Tony. Sibuano. Ah, may halong sibuano na parang uh, ang kinanta ni ano letenyo parang gano'n ang kinanta ni Ver Domino uh -oh. gusto ko nga sana kantahin majong <laughs> <laughs> oh nga kasi yung Domino okay po ano uh, ano yun uh, ano ba yung isang ba ano nga yung sap, dapat eh lalaroin mo dun sa bantay at tatambay o oh. oh, tong oh, eats pala tong eats oo oh, oh. Oo. Kasi, kasi kinanta ni Bert Domino, kakantahin ni Mari Madjong. Ako tong it's. Oo nga eh. O sige Mari, baka may gusto kang handog. Ang ganda ng um, damit. Ba, ano ginagawa mo? Ba? Ba't gumaganyan ka? Wala ka magawin talaga. Hindi ko pa Hindi ko mapigilan sarili ko talaga. Okay. Hyper na nga yung araw na to ha. Oo nga. O, oh sige. my God. Okay, kakantahan na ako kayo ng ating, uh, ano tawag dito, ng ating uh, kumare. Handog mo kay Maring Carlota, nanunod siya ngayon. Bisaya ba siya? Ha? Bisaya siya. Uh, hindi. Taga ano siya. O, parang kay Mare Carlota. At ganun din kay Esther Orda. Yun, si Buana yun. Si Lucy Fabra, Arthur Fabra. And Flor Santos. May nag-text sa atin. Kinanta daw ni Ver Domino. Sino oh. daw ang kakanta ng ano? Kaano-ano daw ba niya si Domi Yes? Oh! <laughs> wow! Oh. Galing, ha? Oh. Oh. Corny mo, ha? Domi Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, sige, nakantahan na po. Ito na si Maring Ray Lucero. Sorry, Orfiano. Ang kanya nga awitin ay Ahay! 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 Sa tungi mo, mga hindi 
na kayo. Galing sa hospital. Sabi ni Mamita Bailon, thank you very much, Mare. Good day Esa, for Esa Barkada. God bless you all from Mamita. Hi, Mamita. And of course, si Christine Joynardo. Happy Sunday. Hi, Christine. Eto, baka kala niyo wala yung nanay niyo. Eto, siya tabi ko. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hello Good po. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Oh, inahanap pa ng mga anak mo eh. Kala nila wala ka. And yung ating na-miss nung dalawang Sundays, Ayun. no? Uh, si Carl. Hello, Carl. Hello po. Good morning po sa lahat. Oo. Oh, oh. Kumusta na? Okay na yung Uh, ano mo? Uh, opo, na-adjust na po yung braces ko. Then oh. due for surgery na po. Ah, for surgery talaga. Uh, so next Sunday, wala ka na naman. Sadly pa po. Masaya ka. Pero after that naman siguro, eh, talagang tuloy-tuloy na. Oh. Ah, po, po. Oh, alam ko, naaano na, ko yung, yung uh, the way she, he talks, no? medyo apiktado talaga yung ano. Yes. May buti naman di apiktado yung pagkanta mo. Buti oh, naman po. Oh, oh. Kasi na-miss ka na ni Nadel, si Ronald, yung, at saka si Mami Nancy, na-miss na rin namin. Hmm. Oh, oh. So, uh, ayan, mamaya ho, si Carl kakanta siya. I, I requested him to sing two songs, no? Dahil two Sundays siyang nawala sa programa. Alam kong na-miss niyo siya. So, uh, abangan niyo mamaya may konti. Kakanta si Carl. And of course, ang inyong nanay, si Sammy. <laughs> oh, wala kang event na nakara- nitong nakaraling ko? Kag- kagabi po, nasa Walter Martin yag po kami. Kaya medyo na-late po. Kasi na-late din po nagising. <laughs> okay. Walter, ano sa may uh, makapag-alamin niyo? Opo, opo. O, oh, kumusta na yung ano natin doon? Wala pa bang... Uh... Ay, yung sa Makati po ba? Yung Makati po ba? Hindi. Hindi. Yung sa Walter Mart sa may, ano, sa may sa makapag-alo. Sa MOA. Uh, nag-iintay ako ng... Uh, ano yon na uh, text or call ni uh, uh, Ma'am Angel ng Walter Mart, yung uh, isang mall manager doon. At uh, isinabit na yata niya. Eh, hindi ko lang alam kung ano na nangyari. Anong, anong nangyari. Oo. Like ka! Pakifollow up mo, ha? <laughs> okay. O, sige, tuloy tayo. Ito naman yung ating Mr. Romantico. Kakantahan niya tayo ngayon. At uh, palagay ko itong kanta niya, eh, country song din siya. Uh, pinasikat ni John Denver. Yes, pero may version din yan yata si Jim Reeves, if I'm not mistaken. Oo, oh, maraming kumanta niya dahil yeah. talagang naging standard country music song. At saka nga pala, may nag, mayroong nag-request sa akin yan. Aha, sino? Pero lang, hindi ko talaga matandaan kung sino dahil sa... Siya senior. Pero, alam mo kung sino ka. Pagka kinanta ko ito, eh, magpakilala ka sa akin sa Facebook, sabi mo, ano... Sabi Hindi, na baka naman baka naman nanonood siya ngayon. Mag-comment siya para mapasalamatan natin. Oo nga, oh, please mag-comment ka dahil Oo. talaga pinag-aralan ko itong alang-alang sa iyo. Kasi apat ang ni-request na ito yung pinili ko. Ah, At saka okay. nagpapasalamat din ako kay Tassel Buenaventura, mm-hmm. isa sa ating mga pakikinig lagi sa ating programa. Ta, kumusta ka na riyan? And, ah, uh, oo, uh, gusto ah, ko rin pasalamatan si Carlota, si Maring Carlota. Kasi sabi ko sa kanya, hindi ko alam kung taga saan siya. Taga Bulacan pala oh, siya. Taga okay. Bulacan, oo. Oh, oh. Pero yung hobby niya, si Rudy, ay uh, Bisaya. <laughs> Bisaya Gid. <laughs> okay, so, Rafi, you were saying something again before uh, I interrupted I say, you. Uh, yun na nga, <laughs> na pakilala ka ko. <laughs> <laughs> sa ang nag-greek kami sito. Okay. So, para Ma- sa'yo ito. Mag-comment specific. ka lang. Okay, sige. Rafael Centenera sa kanyang Country Road. Almost heaven, West Virginia Through its mountain Ten and over we go Life is older Older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. I'll be home, stay home, to the place I belong. Morning as it calls me 
radio reminds me of my home so far away Driving down the road I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday Yesterday Okay, mm-hmm. hi, yung aking uh, watchmate si Bartolome, nanunod talaga siya. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. Beautiful opening uh, song, Ikaw Ang Mahal Ko. Oh, di ba? Oh, Na-appreciate na nila kagad. Looking la- oh. yeah. <laughs> Looking lovely. Tuloy mo. And Miss Ray. Mm. Oh, dalawa naman tayo, di ba? Looking Sa lovely. Oh, oh. Ang lovely di ni Miss Cora. Oh, oh, thank you. Talagang nilahan niya tayo. Thank you, Rufaida. Ha? Thank you. And a uh, very nice topic for better future. Oh, yung pinag-usapan oh, natin kanina tungkol sa Halaman. environment at saka pagtatanim. Okay, galing ni, Sa- ni Rafael Centenera. Yeah. Oh, diba? Lahat naman ng mga kanta yata natin mm-hmm. ay appreciated ng mga uh, viewers natin kasi uh, kumbaga talagang kung hindi nila request, pumipihi tayo ng mga kantang gusto nilang mapakinggan. At eto ho, isa, bibigyan kayo ng napakagandang awitin, uh, very sentimental na song ito, di ba? No? Opo. At uh, handog ko sa lahat ng mga S R L. O, di ako nagkamali, ha? Opo. Yes. <laughs> ano yun? Samantha <laughs> Rascal Lovers. Lovers. Ito na yung nanay nyo na ikangay uh, hindi na mapigil-pigil sa kanyang paggigig, sa kanyang mga events. Tuloy, Ate, tuloy. Yeah. napanood mo ba yung kanyang sinabayan ng sayaw-sayaw niya sa isang fast food? Ay, yeah. oh, Grabe oh, na. Oh, oh. Sabi ko nga kung sa YouTube niya nilagay, mm-hmm. makakapera na siya. Eh, Facebook tum- lumabas tum- eh. Tumbatag ito kasi. Sino bang, sino bang nanay nito? <laughs> Hi, Maricel. Maricel. We love you, sir. Baka magalit. At saka si Sam baka magalit sa akin. <laughs> Hindi. Uh, yung ano kasi, yung, yung ano ni Sam kasi, kumisa nanghihinayang talaga ako, no? Dahil uh, medyo, ay hindi bali, gagawa natin ang paraan. Paraan yan. Okay, Sammy. <laughs> go, go, no, go! Ayun, nasa Pag- dokumenta, gusto ko na po i-congratulate lahat po ng graduate ngayong mm. year po. Ah, Oo, oh, mga graduate, so, oo. Oh. And sa akin din po. Matatapos po ako ng grade 10 po. Ah, grade 10. Ah, ah, grade Homeschool 10 grade 10. Ah, moving up ka na. Wow. wow. Magsi-senior high ka na. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, magdadalaga na siya. <laughs> Oo, oh, magdadalaga na siya. Okay. Noong kasi nga kasama natin ito unang-unay, napaka- Nene. Oo, oh, neneng-nene. Ngayon, dalaga na siya. Okay, Sam, batiin mo muna yung mga anak mo. Ay, minabati ko po si Christine Joy Nardo po. Nanonood po siya ngayon. Mm, Salamat yes, na sa mga yes, rest Christine Lover Joy. Mm-hmm. Sana po magustuhan niyo itong kakata. Okay, so para sa inyo lahat, eto na po. <laughs> Sabi ko na nga ba, nanunood yung... Ay, nanay pala ni Raymond Tokala, ako nanay ni Sam. <laughs> si Marilyn. Hi Marilyn, good morning. Mula kay Sammy Rascal, The Climb. The Climb. Thank you. 
Pinagsama, ito ang Katropa Radio. Iba tayo. Kayo ay nakatutok sa 1134 kilohertz. DWD Katropa Radio. Iba tayo. Kami po ay kasapi ng KBP, kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. Sa 
Okay, back sa ating sama-sama salo-salo. Welcome sa ating second hour. Bubuksan naman ang tabi ng isa sa ating mga millennials na na ano nawala sa atin for two weeks. Pero ngayon po ay uh, heto na siya at aawitan niya kayo ng isang napakagandang awitin. Hi Carl, how are you? Hello po, good afternoon po sa lahat. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, mukha namang hindi ka masyadong naapektuhan nung uh, ano yun, yung pag ano ng ngipin mo, no? Uh, medyo nasa na isa na yun na po this past few days. Ah, good, oo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> eh, kasi naman, na-miss ka na nung mga fans mo sa sama-sama sa Lusalo. So, uh, handog natin kay Mami Nancy yung uh, kakantahin mo. And this is... All I Ask. All I Ask. Carl Stephen.
Kabilang istasyon. Istasyon eh, ng bus. <laughs> Antagal na kaya. No? Oh, na. And you ano? expect me to remember that? Okay. Oh. Happy 40th anniversary. Oh, wow. Happy birthday ko nga eh. Lahat naman ng happy birthday. Hindi. Ang sinasabing birthday ni Tony, yung pagsali niya, sasama-sama, salo-salo. Kasi ate, inudyukan mo ako eh. Alam mo naman ako, ang power, ang power ng ano ko, ng convincing, ang convincing power. Convincing power na ako. Ano po? Apat ang paningin ko? <laughs> okay. Hello kay Christian Angelo Asanchez. Sabi niya, ganda daw yung kanta mo, Sammy. And uh, hi, Lynn. Hi, si Lynn Aguila. Si, hello, Marie. Si Maria Picacci. Marie Picacci. Sabi ni Christine, hi, Tita Maricel is also watching. Sabi niya, hello po. Hihihi. Sabi ni Maricel, nanay mo. Okay. Hello, like and share na po. Thank you very much, Lynn, ha? I-share mo sa lahat ng mga kaibigan natin. Mark, Hari Domingo, paad na po, please. O, oh, paad mo na daw siya sa mga anak mo. Thank you, Mr. Centenera, for singing my requested song from Asya. Rufaida Flores. Ayun! Siya pala! Uh, si Rufaida! Ano, sa, Rafael, ah, si, si Rufaida, Rufaida Flores pala ang nag-request ng kanta mong Country Road. Yeah. Oo. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Happy Sunday daw, sabi ni uh, Maricel. Sama-sama, salo-salo, sabi ng maniwari. <laughs> yung ating uh, uh, Dia, Dia member natin yon. I love the song much. Thank you very much. Simpatiko. Wow, sarap sa ears yung kanta namin nung nag-graduate ako ng elementary. It's the climb. Sabi niya, Christine Joynardo. Hi, Joe Afra. Nga si Jojo nanonood pa rin siya. Si, Hello, Nancy. Halika na dito. Do. Nasaan ka ba? <laughs> okay. Sabi ni Rafael, ay Rafael, ikaw nga pala nag-request uh, ng kantang yon. Okay, so uh, maraming salamat. Uh, talagang dalaga na si Bunso Esther. Uh, dito na siya talagang magkaka, ano, magkaka-asawa. Ang <laughs> layo. Okay, thank you. Ang dami ng mga comments dito. Ah, uh, Uh, talagang lahat sila ay uh, appreciated tayo. Maraming maraming salamat po kay Maricel, kay uh, Christine, at kay Rufaida. Saludo ako sa lahat ng katropa ng sama-sama, salo-salo. Salut! Salamat <laughs> Thank po. you. Okay. Uh, hello, my dear uh, friend, si Estela Vizcara. Nanonood na siya. Magandang morning ngayon mo lang napanood. Ano? Happy birthday daw, Tito Tony. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sabi ni Maricel. Watching you now, my dear, my, uh, my dear friend, Tessie. Thank you very much. Tuwing Sunday, ha, manood ka na. Isishare ko palagi sa iyo. Okay, next uh, singer. Ito na po yung ating napakagwapo, napakasimpatiko rin. At yes. ang tangkad niya, no, na uh, architecto. The singing, oh, uh, the singing architect wow. and composer. And, and movie actor. Movie actor at Mr. Philippines, Philippines. Uh, naging naging uh, finalist siya sa Mr. Philippines controversial pero hindi ko muna <laughs> hindi ko muna pagsasab ano pagkausapan ngayon kasi baka mamaya eh mahdimanda ako mahdimanda okay. ka <laughs> okay eto na po ang ating pong panauhin magiging uh, isa sa mga main character ng tambay ng uh, Diamond Infinity Production no di ba kasama ko diyan si Malu si Maya at si Chris and si Jing. Ito na po ang ating poging pogi na ito si Ruel Rada. Hi, Ruel. Hello po. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Sa oh. lahat po nang nanonood at nakikinig ng DWDD Katropa Salo-Salo. Sama-sama. Ah, Sama-sama. <laughs> Sorry po. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Okay. Ito, kakantahan muna kay ni Ruel. Mamaya magkukwentuhan kami dito. For his first number, muli ni Ruel Rada. What happened? Yeah, okay.
Sabi ko, kakanta ka na. O oh, sir, pero ano, medyo nervous. <laughs> Sabi ko, pagkansyan ka na, lalabas talaga yan. Oo, oh, oh, talagang, uh, oo, oh, oh. umpisa lang yan. Masasanay ka rin. Parang si, para si Irene, si Lebre, remember? Diba, no? Oh, Ganun din. Yung first song niya, talagang kabang-kaba siya. But the second song niya, okay na. Oh. Halika dito, sumali ka sa amin dito, uh, Ruel. And uh, habang sasali siya, ay uh, gusto kong batiin si uh, yung aking brother na nonood pala siya ngayon si uh, Benji hi Benji si uh, Rose Mendoza Pitasio hello Mercedita Navarro maraming salamat sa panonood nyo and si Jay sa uh, Champson Flores mga member namin yan uh, member namin si Jay sa ano laking tarlak ako okay maraming salamat sa inyo tuloy tayo sa ating mga kantahan ito naman yung ating uh, videographer na ngayon ay kakanta ng isang magandang uh, uh, awiting pinasikat ni Match Man Okay, hi Senen. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Kay ko yung naging sa DWWD. Yes. 140 kilohertz. At ang awitin ko po ay inihandog ko sa may request sa akin na yung niece. Karinjita Lagman Balboa. Oo, oh, nirequest kong kantahin niya. Pero Senen, nakita ko yung litrato mo dito. Mahaba pa. Ano, makapalpabuhok mo dyan. Makapalpabuhok mo dyan. Uh, <laughs> Ay, si Matt Monro pala yun. Okay, ito na po si Senen Garcia. The Music Play. And in your eyes 
Yes po, tita, hehe. Kaya lagi ko kayo inaabangan tuwing Sunday. Talagang gagaling ng lahat. O, di ba? Thank you very much, Christine, for that beautiful comment. Aha, at uh, hello sa lahat ng viewers. Happy lunch po, sabi ni uh, Maricel. Saludo daw siya sa lahat ng mga katropa ng sama-sama. Salo-salo, sabi naman ni Rufaida. Okay, maganda talaga mga songs noon. May puso. Yan, Ay, totoo yun. yun ha? Uh, yung mga kanta nung araw. Ay, Pag napakinggan mo ngayon, ma-appreciate mo. May, may uh, kukompare mo doon sa mga kanta sa ngayon. Mm -hmm. Na kumisan di mo maintindihan kung tinutumbok ng kanta. Thank you very much, Raquel. Love the old songs you are singing. Esther Ordame is, is still watching. Maraming salamat po. At eto naman, uh, kaka, ano, pakantahin na muna natin yung, uh, yung si Miss Nueva Isihana. At medyo mabilis-bilis yung kakantahin niya. Hello, uh, ang sexy ng kanyang damit. No? Ang ganda, oh, sabi ko, ang ganda ng kanyang blouse. Sabi niya, alam mo tita, mahigit ng 20 anyos kung sa oh. damit ito. <laughs> Oh, oh, pero uso yan ngayon eh, di ba? Uso-uso yan ngayon. Yes, okay. Go ahead. Ito po, anin ko na po yung mga nagkumati sa akin ng birthday ko. Yeah! Isang bagsak nga, Eddie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Sa iyo, Reyna Lina, sa iyong mga itlog. Happy birthday to you. Punta sa mga itlog. I love you po. I love you too. Oy, 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 oy. Ano yan? Ito lang kapag cake. Ito po. Ito na ho, ang birthday girl. At saka po sa mga nagsibate sa iyo, Kuya Manny Tibera, kay Sir Manuel Paglaya. Ayun po. Para sa inyo, ito na ho. Hindi na siya Miss Nueva Isihana ngayon. Siya na si Material Girl. Yes. <laughs> okay.
Jet Ramos, I love you, Tita and Tito. Thank you, Jet. <laughs> okay, salamat, Rainelin. Sa greetings mo, nice rendition ng Material Girl. Sabi niya, Mania de Vera, bravo. Bravo. Ito naman, isa pang... Oo, ay nga pala. Hi, Kuya Roger. Hindi, <laughs> binati ko na kanina kasi na nag-comment si Bobo, yung anak nila. Oo, and I'm, I'm sure they're still watching now. Good morning, uh, good afternoon na sa inyo. Kanina morning and afternoon na. At yahan to kong awitin. Ito naman yung ating isa pang millennial natin. Ang napaka-talented uh, dahil hindi lang siya singer. He's also uh, an arranger and he plays the uh, uh, keyboard very well. Hello, Raymond. Maganda ko maganda. Wow. <laughs> Abi ko bakit ka nakaitim? Hindi may brown na ako. <laughs> oh, oh. Yung kanya pa lang ano? Magandang hapon. Yung kanya pa lang uh, jacket brown naman. Okay, so uh, Raymond, uh, anong mga bago sa iyo ngayon? Bago kain ka. <laughs> okay. Oh, sige, bumati ka na muna bago kakanta ka na. Uh, para po to kay Ate Ibay. Siyempre, mm -hmm, siyempre, oh. si Jack. Mga, mga ano mo yun, mga fans mo yun. Ang Marines family. Okay. Nasa ano sila, nasa, nasa Kabyaw yata, ano Kabyaw, Kabuyaw pala Laguna. Uh, Nag-harvest yata ng mga prutas doon. Okay. okay. Para sa inyo, mga, kay Mary, kay uh, Jack Jack, nandun sila, at uh, si Ipay. Yes, Para sa inyo to. Awitin ni Raymond, Don't tell my heart to stop loving you. Tell me 
prepare ng isang napakagandang awitin. Medyo may pagkarumba, no? Rumba yata itong uh, aawitin niya. Ito ho. Ay, hello, Eddie. Yan. <laughs> ito, ito tuwing, tuwing, tuwing kakanta siya, karakter. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Bati ka muna ulit sa mga viewers natin. Niyandog natin kina pa yan. Ikaw e sa'yo lang. Ikaw lang. Ikaw na lang maghandog. <laughs> kina ato si. Oo. Tsaka kina. Tsaka yung kinetiror dami, hindi ko pa nakakanta yung request. Ah, okay. Utang mo. Oh, utang na lang yun. Utang mo. Oh, sige, ito na ho si Eddie Suarez. At kanyang kakantahin ang... Hindi oh. magtataksi. Oh. Way. Oh, sige. Tuntahin mo na. Isang salawan 
sa ating pagmamahal lang. Pagkat ang aking puso, isang lamang umibig at hanggang kamatayan. Ngunit di ko malaman kung bakit ako hiliw pinagpipinta ko. Nais mo lamang iyakan sa akin ay bawihin ang iyong pagmamahal. Laging dinarasal ko sa kasadang magbang sa ating pagmamahal. Pagkat sa iyo lamang ako ay liligaya magpakailan pa man. Kaya iyong asa Taksil habang ako'y napupuhay Ngunit di ko malaman Nais mo lamang iyatang sa akin ay bawihin ang iyong pagmamahal. Laging dinarasan ko, huwag ka sanang magbago sa ating pagmamahal. Pagkat sa iyo lamang ako ay liligaya magpakailan pa man. Kaya iyo at huwag kang magparatang Ako'y hinding hindi magtataksil Habang ako'y napubuhay Sabi ni Maring Carlota, ninenerbius pa yan ha? Ha? <laughs> Good job daw, sabi ni Maring Carlota. Tapos sabi ni, naku Jet ha, mananliligaw ka na pala. Request ko po, because you love me, I would like to dedicate it to Miss Zina, the girl I am courting. O, oh, diba? Yeah. And who is one of our guidance counselors at our school. Yamo Jet, ipanliligaw kita sa kanya. <laughs> okay. Sige, pakakanta ko kay Sammy yung because you love me. Ha? Uh, kay, uh, ano yata yun, because you love me, si Sino nga kumanta nun? O siya na nga, oo, ha? Celine Dion. Celine Dion ba? Because she love me. Celine Dion. O, sige. O, yun. Sabi niyo eh. Okay. O, sige. Ito ho. Babalik namin ang aming muy simpatiko, Mr. Romantico, Rafael Centinera. At kanyang aawitin naman isang napakagandang balad. Balad, oo. Ito na ang balad na ito ay isa sa mga nauna kong mga singles for Dino Recordings. Oo, I see. At? Adaptation yan. Hindi, it was originally composed by by one of those composers of... Senior uh, Moments. So <laughs> <laughs> Senior Moments. Nakakatawa ba? Hindi. At siya nga pala, ngayon alam ko na, mabuti nagpakilamdam si Rufaida. Flores. Uh, Rufaida oh, Flores. Uh, uh, talaga namang... Siya pala yung nag-request ng katanggap. Tuwa siya dahil katawang paano eh na... na mm -mm. Bigyan ko ng buhay ang kanyang request. Yes. Rufaida, thank you for sa iyong pakiramdam. Okay, so... At ito namang aawitin ko. Yan siya sabi ko. Original ko pala ito. Nawala yung minus one ko niya noon kasi matagal na yun. Tapos... Magaling si Raymond. Ilaray ko ni Raymond. Ilaray ko ni Raymond. Okay, Thank you, Raymond. Wonder, wonderfully done. Magkasali. Pinig ni Rafael, tugtog ni Raymond Nagbada, after all. Every 
sila po yung kanta hanggang sila yung sumisikat po. Oo oh, nga. Kaya <laughs> nag-try po ako na yun. Mag- Ikaw naman ang kumanta. Oo, oh, ako naman yung kumanta. Uh, sabi nga ni Maring Ray, Maring sabi niya, uh, sinabi ko kay Ruel, uh, ipagpatuloy niya dahil you have the voice. Ninervyos ah, yes. ka lang. Oo, oh, oh, ninervyos ka lang. At sabi ko nga, yung yung boses niya may volume kasi, eh, di ba? At talagang good for singing. So ito ko, patunayan namin, komposisyon ni Ruel Rada at ang pamagat ay Ah, kasakiman po. Kasakiman. Kas- kasakiman? Apo. May oh, talagang kanta yan. Eh, eh, uh, para may, may, uh, may lesson meaning. siguro. Oh, 
Tungkol po sa Pilipinas, sa nangyayari po sa bansa natin. So, ayun po, pinagsama-sama ko po para at least ma-inspire yung mga bata na huwag tumigil sa pangarap nila. Pakinggan nyo to. Tama, dapat gamit, gamitin natin nga no, standby. Pwede diba? po, pwede gamitin po. Gamitin natin nga uh, theme song sa standby oh. dahil yun, yun, ang, yun ang tema ng uh, pinigo ng gagawin namin yung standby. It's about children growing up pag hindi sila nagpakabuti oh. sa pag-aaral, mawawala oh. sila sa kanilang uh, sarili. Opo. Oh, okay. Thank Sige. you po. Mm -mm. Thank you very much, Ruel Rota, sa kanyang kasakiman. Naranasan mo na bang tanungin ang iyong sarili? Kung bakit hindi pantay ang pagtingin ng marami? May mahirap, may mayaman. May maganda, may pangit. May malakas, may mahina. Bakit di na lang magkaisa at magbigayan na magkaroon ng kapayapaan sa ating lipunan? Sa taong humilipas at daan Ang di ko po pasandami ng kaibigan Di mabilang sa akin palat na akong ikukwento At ilalahad ko Ang bawat istorya na nangyari dito sa mundo Bakit ba nangyari to? Limitado ang galaw ko Pakiusap lang to Tigil mo lang nga to Ang pang-aabuso sa ating gabwa Pilipino Hirap na ang dinaranas butas at mansangas Bibigayan ng taos, puso at lubos Di ka pwedeng humiling kung sa siyang darating Ano man Pagsubok may hanggangan at wakas Di ka pwedeng umatras Lalo dito sa Pinas Pinasura ang langan Tera ang sinigsigaw Kahit na ikay uhaw Sa umagang darating Porlas na maningning Dadaling ka sa dilim Gamit niyang patalim Takbo dito, takbo doon Yan ang sigaw ng pamumuhay sa ngayon Hindi kailangan ng tulong ng ibang tao Para ikay umasenso Dahil ang tagumpay nasa kamay mo Huwag mangunahin ng kayabangan, bigyang pansin ng kagalingan, kapangyarihan, hindi kasakiman. Ang sakit na pangyayari ay hindi mo to mawari ang salita ni ina, lagi mo itong dala. Sa puso na kaungit, sa batas dumidikit, kapag pinagkait, kay Kristo lumalapit, sa gana, sa yaman, lumang sinilangan, sa kimsakaranyaan, kaya't nagpapatayan, taong tuod sa salabi, ikay luhod. Maskarang para, sinaw ka sa sakilak, trabaho mong balpak, sa rehas ka bagsak, batang inaati, panahon ang gumanti, si inang bayan, siya'y nagdaramdam, kasi likas na yaman, natin pinabayaan, kaya't nang naubos, sa tao ibinuhos, walang kaawa-awa, kumanakit sa kapwa, pagsabog ng damdamin at lupang iipunin, aminin ang awitin na ito ay para sa atin. Napakasakit isipin na mismo ang kapamilya natin ang gumagawa ng krimen at karumal-dumal sa atin. Ilang pa pang mata ang luluha bago tayo matauhan. Huwag mong isisi sa Pangulo ang kapabayaan ninyo dahil di kaya iangat ng naging isang tao ang bansa na ito kundi kailangan ng tulong ninyo para sa pagbabago. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. So, uh, idol ko po kasi si Francis M. So, lahat ng kanta niya po may meaning din po. Kaya gumawa po ako ng kanta yeah, para sa... Maganda. Thank you po. Tama nga, i-suggest ko kay Direct Pamela Ortiz siya. Oh, thank you po. Gawin natin para team sa ating program, sa ating uh, pelikula. Okay, thank you very thank much, you uh, you Ruel. And uh, I'm sure yung mga kabataan nanonood ngayon na almost nasa 3,000 na tayo viewers, no? Maraming salamat. At uh, sana napakinggan nyo yung moral lesson doon sa uh, ni Rap ni Ruel Rada. Okay, watching you live. Sama-sama. Salo-salo. Good afternoon, sabi ni Estela, yung ating kaibigan. Si Chris Lagman naman, hi! Ngayon ka lang nanood. <laughs> sabi niya, late, late to watch, sabi niya. Uh, just got home. Magandang morning. Morning sa morning. kanila. Oo. Uh, uh, afternoon na sa Sorry. atin. Hindi, gabi na sa kanila. Gabi almost. sa kanila. Almost. Oh, almost gabi na. Tayo sa atin kasi morning tayo. Okay, so, uh, eto na. Uh, si Mamita nanonood pa rin. Nice rap, sabi ni Raquel Balolo. At uh, idol kita, Tessie Lagman Balgoa, noon pa sa opretang putol-putol. <laughs> Salamat. Okay, binabalik naman namin ang ating uh, uh, millennial sa, no, singer. At uh, aawit ng kanyang pangalawang awitin, si, Ray, si Raymond Agbada. All of me. All of, all of me. <laughs> all of you, all of me. Huwag kayo mag -away. Oh 
ni Frank Sinatra, Frankie the Boy Sinatra, kinanta ni Raymond Dagbada, All of Me. Ito naman, babalik din natin ang ating isang pang-millennial, ang ating po namang na-miss for two Sundays, at uh, next Sunday, mamimiss na naman natin siya, so kakantahan na niya kayo ngayon para doon sa kanta niya next Sunday. Ano yan, parusa, Mare? Hindi, na-miss kasi natin siya, di ba? Kaya uh, pinakanta natin siya ng dalawang songs ngayon. Hi, Carl. Hello po. Uh, Andiyan na ba si Mami? Wala pa. Wala <laughs> Sa kaya napunta si mami mo. Okay, Sisi for all ba? of you. Ito naman po ang awitin ni uh, Carl Sipat. Uh, kumanta si uh, Raymond kanina, All of Me. Ito naman siya, another standard song made popular by... Uh, Frank Sinatra. Si Frank Sinatra din, pero meron niya tang version si Michael Bublé. Yes, okay. I get a kick out of you. I get no kick from champagne Beer alcohol doesn't thrill me at all but Tell me why should it be true That I get a kick out of you Some they may go for cocaine I'm sure that if I took even one sniff, it would bore me terrifically too. But I get a kick out of you. I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me. I get a kick. Though it's clear to see, you obviously do not adore me. I get no kick in a plane, flying too high with some girl in the sky. There's my idea of nothing to do, but I get a kick out of you. Every time I see you 
standing there before me. I get a kick, though it's clear to see. You obviously do not adore me. I get no kick in a play. Flying too high with some girl in the sky. Nothing to do, but I get a kick. You give me a boop. I get a kick out of you. Thank you for. Ganda ng kanta niyo. Magkasunod na dalawa magaganda kanta, no? Parehong kanta ni Frank Sinatra. All of me and I get a kick out of you. Bueno, well, sana ho ay nasiyahan kayo sa ating pagtatanghal ngayong uh, araw na ito. At uh, na, nabigyan namin ng kasiyahan ng inyong mga uh, musical uh, spirits. <laughs> Oo. And uh, hang, um, gusto rin din namin magpasalamat sa ating uh, panauhin uh, si uh, Ruel Rada. Abangan po ninyo siya sa kanyang mga iba't ibang mga gigs. At uh, uh, abangan nyo siya. Siya ho isa sa mga main character natin doon sa gagawin naming pelikulang tambay ng Diamond Infinity Productions at uh, isa lahat po ng mga nanood sa atin sa araw na ito na umabot ng mahigit 3,300 3,300 plus sabi ni Piti Mini maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo at hanggang sa susunod na linggo sa ating palatang tunang Sama Sama Salo Salo Pagsintang di mo alam Ang pag-ibig Kung lubusan Kahirap maunawan Ang puso ko Na may sumpang dalisan Laging wakas Kahit mapagbintangan Ikaw ang mahal ko Ikaw ang mahal ko Sama. Get on.
Ang Katropa Radio. Diba tayo? Kayo ay nakatutok sa 1134 kilohertz. DWD Katropa Radio. Iba tayo. Kami po ay kasapi ng KBP, kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. Pare, nagpipinta ka pa rin? Di pa ba tapos yung canvas mo? Pare, parang canvassing sa election yan. May proseso. Ha? Anong canvassing? Yun ang pag-record ng election results sa lahat ng presinto sa Pilipinas. Eh, kung magkamali. Di mangyayari yun, pre. May board of canvassers, watchers, at observers doon para tama ang bilang. Ah, maraming nanonood. Pre, open to the public ang canvassing. Kaya hintay lang tayo. Wala namang issue dun eh. Eh, ba't mukhang worried ka? Yung painting mo kasi, dapat dinaan din sa board of canvassers. Ang pangit eh. A message from the Comelec and this station. I am a Filipino soldier. I will support and defend the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I will obey the laws and legal orders of those appointed directly over me and shall hold myself responsible for all my official and personal actions. I will keep faith with my fellow soldiers And I will not do acts nor make oral and written statements which are disloyal to my country and the armed forces of the Philippines. I will render respect to the Filipino flag at all times and dedicate myself to the principles of justice, freedom, and democracy. kakapanood ng pelikulang bayolente. Pero sa totoong buhay, bago ako tinamaan ng bala at naputulan ng binti, halos araw-araw ko na pong nararanasan ng karasan. 14 lang po ako noon nung sapiltan akong kinuha sa aking mga magulang at pinilit lumaban sa gera kung saan wala naman kaming kinalaman. 16 na po ako pero dahil lumpo ako at halos walang pinag-aralan, Karamdam ko po, wala na akong kinabukasan. Huwag hayaang mapahamak ang ating kabataan. 
karapatan ng bawat bata na mamuhay sa mapayapang pamayanan. Isang mensahe mula sa Office of the President, PIA, OPOP, CWC, UNICEF, KBP at ng himpilang ito. Nakukongresman, senador, pagpasensya nyo na sana itong noodles at sardinas. Ang hirap po kasi ng buhay eh. Bangayan sa politika, tama na. Bayang naghihirap at sikasuhin muna. Isang paalaala mula sa KBP at ng himpilang ito. Ah, sir, minatamis na siling labuyo ho para mas ganahan kayo sa pakikipag-away. Eh, este, pakikipag-debate ho nyo sa kongreso. 15 pesos, isang delata. 10 piso sa bawat bote ng tubig. 7 pesos para naman sa jeep. Piso na ang isang candy. You don't have to worry about every cent anymore. Serve the nation and ease your financial burdens. Join the ROTC. Drop by the nearest Department of Military Science and Tactics in your colleges and universities and sign up now. We help each other for a better and safer country. Join now! Gusto ko, masayang pamilya. Gusto ko, maunlad na pamayanan. Gusto ko, nagkakaisang bayan. Ako, gusto ko, kapayapaan para sa lahat. Ikaw, anong gagawin mo? Para makamtan ang asam na kapayapaan at kaunlaran, makipagtulungan, makiisa at makipagbayanihan.
Future Training Corps or ROTC unit na nasa unibersidad. Apat na taon na rin siyang nasa ROTC at ang dami niya financial incentives buong college life niya. Kaya naman may naipunda na kung pampiesta mamaya pag uwi namin. Kasi ngayon na. As in ngayon na. Ho! Ang turnover rights ceremony nila. At itutuloy ni Tonyo ang pagiging sundala sa Philippine Army. Bongga diba? Kaya't payagan na mag-enroll si Junior pati na rin si Nene sa pinakamalapit na Department of Military Science and Tactics at i-enjoy ang benefits and pride of having a hero for a son or daughter. Tara, sama nalang kayo sa turnover rights ceremony. Alam niyo ba? Just go proud na proud ako sa anak ko. Ang gwapagawa niya pag nakahindi pa niya. The Philippine Army. Capable. Professional. Responsive. And the source of national pride. A message brought to you by the Philippine Army, OPSPIA, KBB, and the station. Mabuhay ng mapayapa at walang pinangangambahan sa sariling bayan. Maging lubos na masaya kapiling ang pamilya at mga kaibigan. Maging ba? Ito ang DWWD, 1134 kilohertz, Patropa Radio, iba tayo. Good afternoon to all of our listeners on air. You are tuned in to DWWD Katropa Radio. You are listening to your favorite Sunday afternoon habit, The Voice of the Teachers, broadcasting live here at the heart of Cabal, Quezon City. You, The Voice of the Radio, The Voice of the Teachers is the only radio program for teachers, by teachers, and with teachers. And together with me this afternoon are Katropang Jet, Good afternoon, Katropang Bobby and Katropang Herman and our guest. And of course, Katropang Herman, the guidance counselor ng bayan. Magandang hapon po sa ating mga Katropang teachers at guidance counselors. Sumasahin pa po with the number of the boys and the teachers. At abangan niyo po yun sapagat maya 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 na naman tayong kapukulutan mga katropang. Okay, so, kumusta tayo, Kuya Katropang Jen? Ayun, eto medyo nakarecover na po ako sa trangkaso at masigla na naman po ako. Ito, kahit busy kami sa finals na, talagang, ano, talagang teaching is life pa rin. Yes. We are on the 31st of March. This is the last day of the Fire Prevention Month. Kaya lang medyo nagka-problema tayo kasi medyo ang dami atang mga nangyayaring uh, sunog. In fact, um, I just received information from some of my friends way back home na in just one day's time, about three buildings, about three houses were burned down. So, medyo meron tayo atang kulang sa pag-inform and pag ng ating mga kababayan with regard to um, the fire prevention. Yes. Um, ayun, sa katunayan nga po eh, nung ano, mga nakaraang araw, last, I think that was last March, um, March 13, nagkaroon po kami ng seminar tungkol sa fire prevention and we were all required to attend it. Kaya yung pag-attend po ng mga fire prevention, pag meron po kayo sa offices nyo, schools nyo, samantalahin nyo, huwag kayong lumiban para marami kayo matutunan. And make sure that every mm. information that we receive, we actually practice. We just do not mm. listen to them and then let the information get out or um, uh, get out on the other side, of, on the other ear. Parang, how do you say it in Filipino? Ipapalabas lang sa kabilang tenga. Mm. Yung ano po, ah, hindi po, ito po yung pasok sa kanan, yes, labas sa kaliwa. Labas sa kaliwa. <laughs> Opo. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm somehow trying to uh, uh, prevent myself from saying it in my language in Bisaya. Because when we say in Bisaya, sulod sa pikas, al sulod sa pikas, gawas na rin pikas. When you say pikas, that means the other one. Mm. Okay, so we have a full af a full afternoon sa, epi uh, sa mga episodes natin for today's March 31, 2019 episode of The Voice of the Teachers. We have a guest who will be talking about teaching math approaches in uh, mathematics and science high school. And then we also have another guest who teaches in the college uh, level who will be talking about on deconstructivism, which is a strategy and means of uh, teaching as well. So, uh, this afternoon, I would like to give the microphone to the guidance counselor ng bayan to introduce our guest. Ay, First guest. Uh, yung update po pala. Ay, sorry. Oh, sige, teacher Jeff. Pasok uh, muna natin updates natin. Uh, 
Sige po. Sorry po. Uh, quick lang po to. So, good afternoon po. Uh, ito pong mga updates natin, bibilisan po natin. First update, AFP and GMA Capuso Foundation have signed a memorandum of agreement to set up a school building within the grounds of Datu Saber Elementary School in Marawi City. Uh, second one, DepEd uh, CAR or Cordillera Administrative Region has reminded all public school administrators to not use graduation ceremonies as avenues for politicians who are running for public office to promote themselves. Uh, third one is more than 73,000 students from Region 6 who are beneficiaries of the 4Ps or Pantawid Pamilang Pilipino program are set to return to school so that they would be able to take advantage of their chance to be educated. And last but not the least, CHED and PEZA or Philippine Economic Zone Authority are working together in order to provide graduates with skills in order to enter the workforce since uh, economic zones are set up so that they may provide uh, locals with jobs that ensure decent life, a dec uh, decent life for them, as well as a chance to grow in their careers. We would also like to thank Secretary Delphine Lorenzana of the Department of National Defense, the AFP Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Benjamin Madrigal Jr., Group Commander of MCAG, Major Al Alwin Maneja, Station Manager Captain Aladdin Almendras, Production NCO Sergeant Jeffrey Malimban, and all of our staff members who are taking charge of the technicals for giving us a platform, for helping the teachers have a platform to discuss issues, topics, and problems related to teaching and learning. Okay, so Katropang Herman. So, ayan na teacher Bob, because dito talaga sa ating country, even maybe in other country, yung math talaga or in science, isa ito yung subject na hindi masyadong ang, kumbaga, nagiging motivated yung mga bata. So, kaya ngayong hapon, talagang yun ang tatalakayan po natin. Pero bago yan, teacher Bob, gusto ko sanang ipakilala yung ating katropang guest this afternoon, no? So, siya po ay nagtapos ng Master in Education, Major in Educational Management sa Xavier University in Cagayan de Oro. And I also, will be going there in yes. a couple of days. Teacher Bob, I think Balwarte ni Teacher Bob ang lugar na ito. Medyo malaya. It's about <laughs> six hours away from uh, my hometown. But nevertheless, I go to Cagayan. We call it Cagayan in Mindanao. When we say Cagayan, we're referring to Cagayan de Oro City. But here in Luzon, when you say Cagayan, you're referring to Cagayan Province. Cagayan Valley, of okay, Cagayan Province. Yeah. And also, he is pursuing his PhD in Educational Management then, dito naman sa University, University of Santo Tomas, Manila. At ngayon po, current siyang faculty member ng Litran College STEM area sa Senior High School Department. Mga katropa, hayaan niyo po akong ipakilala si Sir Felipe De La Cruz Jr. Teacher Ipe, in short. Yeah, Teacher Ipe, pakilala ka naman po. Or hi naman po. Blessed Sunday to everyone. So, ayan na nga, no? So, Teacher Bob and Teacher Jet, medyo hindi ko na patatagal na ating balitaktakan ngayong hapon. Ang una ko kasi gusto issue malaman yung tukol lang sa senaryo ng math education, especially in maybe kasi private school ito, at least makakapagbigay si Teacher Ipe ng some, you know, uh, inputs about sa ano na nga ba ang senaryo ng math education sa senior high school level. So, ang unang katanungan ko, Teacher Ipe, talagang balitaktakan ng term na ginamit, no? Mm -hmm. Ano, kumusta na nga po yung senaryo, yung mga bata, in terms of response rate or attitude nila about math sa senior high school level po? Medyo, let's put it na general, ano muna po, observation muna po ninyo. Kasi talagang almost three years na ba ang senior high school? Tama po ba, no? Yes, we started in 2016. Yes, teacher. So ano po ang general senaryo ng math education sa private school, especially maybe in your area or sa school mo? Okay, I, I would uh, only speak of our school, the Colegio. I would say we are enjoying the good response from our students when it comes to mathematics. When I say good response, I'm referring to their performance. Uh, we hardly have uh, absences in classes. They do uh, respond or attend regular review sessions. I provide at least two review sessions within the quarter. And then, uh, Almost uh, zero failure. Okay. Sir Ipe, now I would like to ask, 
how is the curriculum different in mathematics different from the old curriculum before the implementation of the K-12? Because ang pagkakalam ko, there were some subjects in college na pinaba na sa senior high school, and there were also certain um, subjects na hindi natin nuturo sa senior high school, uh, which used to be taught sa high school lang when it was a four-year uh, course. Okay, if I may say during my our time or my time. Mathematics is treated as a discipline. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, in high school in particular, we have algebra, elementary, yes. and then advanced algebra. We have geometry in the third year, yes. trigonometry, calculus, or advanced algebra in the fourth yes. year. But this time, in the enhanced curriculum of the basic education of DepEd, we have what we call the spiral approach. Uh, topics are chopped according to their level of difficulty and distributed in the different grades. I see. But in the high school uh, department, particularly the senior high, we have by disciplines. So we have general mathematics, statistics and probability. These are core subjects. And then we have the specialized subjects for STEM strands, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We have calculus and pre-calculus. Uh, regarding calculus, it's quite heavy actually. We combine the two calculus subjects, differential and integral, in one subject, good for five months. Imagine the challenges of putting everything, teaching them in one in five months, if the students are not really into mathematics. That's the challenge for the teachers. Well, I don't know if I would say I was lucky I did not take calculus in my high school. Uh, actually, I, be, I graduated from high school in 1991, and I'm revealing my age right mm -hmm. now by doing so. But the thing was, yes, I remember we had our uh, basic or elementary algebra, and then we had our advanced mm. algebra. To a certain extent, I was happy because when I went to college, I did not have the same difficulty as my other classmates had before in algebra. But I had other classmates who kept on complaining about calculus, although during my time, calculus was taught in the engineering, the College of Engineering. Uh, walang masyadong calcul wala talagang calculus sa ibang disciplines, sa ibang mga courses. Although we were taught statistics, and I think in high school, we were also given uh, a little introduction of statistics as well, but not calculus. So, and dami pang ibang mga mathematics, which are now somehow binaba na ata sa senior high school, depending on your strand, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, but since I also teach in the college, we do not actually put everything down to the senior high because I handled, I'm handling uh, GE21. This is calculus for students taking up food and technology as a program. These are first year college students taking up food and technology as I mentioned. And uh, the students are not really that well, often when it, when it comes to mathematics, but just the same as a math teacher, you have to assist the students in terms of performing well in the subject. Okay, so dito naman sa senior hospital na senaryo ulit, Teacher Epino, we all know naman na hindi lahat ng students is para-paro nga yung learning skill nila in math. Mm -hmm. So ano, ano, or ano po yung nagiging usual na approach po natin when it comes to that scenario na yung isa na delay or hindi ganun ka, efficient or kag kag kagaling doon sa math na yon or di ba may subject or may topic din na yung isa advanced isa hindi po ano po yung usual na approach po natin pagka ganun teacher ep one you have to anticipate the worst scenario what do i mean by this uh, performance task is one big component of the grading system now in the senior high in the K to 12 and some students do not perform well in, in terms of doing their performance tasks. So you have to come up with an, uh, an intervention approach that would really prepare the students to do well in their performance tasks. Uh, one as approach that I did is to involve everyone in the planning stage of the performing tasks. So I assigned people who would gather data, who would do the program, in the Excel, Microsoft Excel, I would ask people who would do the reservation of the facilities 
and see to it that everyone will be present during the performance of the perform uh, of the the task i also would set dates for submissions ahead of the time i would need the materials let's say i would need the material march 31st i would assign these materials ahead of time because the possibility of some who would, who would not be able to come with the materials during the time so you always anticipate things na maaring hindi ito ang gawin ng bata so kailangan handa ka dun sa hindi na magagawa parang ganun ang approach because we have a different set of learners now okay and gusto ko naman ngayon, gusto ko na excited po ako sa performance task na yan eh. Ano po yung mga procedure para makita natin kung performing ba yung bata? Or ano po yung usual na, what you call this, yung in terms of sa performance task yan, ano po yung parang rubrics or something na para ma-measure natin? Okay, one, you have to come up with rubrics definitely that this is a requirement in measuring the success of the students in the performance task. Second, you... The performance task should measure all the things that they learn in a particular lesson. Uh, I, I would like to brag that some of my performance tasks are really encouraging and enterprising. I have sports arena, mm -hmm. so my students would come up with a sort of a model for sports arena. Uh, integrating conics designs. When you say conics, we have ellipse. Circles, parabola, yes. hyperbola, and all these things. Interesting. And they have to explain how they use these conics uh, elements in their design. Second, uh, this is in pre-calculus. I ask them to come up with designs on life with simply using the graphs of circular functions. This connects me to another topic that we discussed previously, which is yung outcomes-based education. Yes. So yung nangyayari talaga is that you ask the students to apply the concept to a particular project and then uh, the, the, performance, uh, the, the performance is evaluated according to what they can show and what they can present. Hindi lang yung masyadong theoretical yung approach. Yes, definitely. Besides, the Coleo is now into outcomes-based education from basic ed up to college. So we really have to come up with product or output showing what they learn in the classroom. Okay. Katropang Porsche, nagko-connect-connect na yung mga discussions natin. Mm -hmm. Kasi Katropang Porsche, at, uh, about two weeks ago, also talked about outcomes-based education. And si Sir Ipe is also talking about outcomes-based education. Yes, sir. Okay. Ayan. Ay, sige po. Baka may tanong si Teacher Jed. Ayan. I would also like to ask, uh, how do, okay, how do the students, okay, uh, act towards the performance tasks? Do they act with enthusiasm or sometimes they have some reservations about their own skills and, um, and what they can give? Okay, definitely there are reservations. There are late submissions. There are non-submissions. <laughs> this happens. So, you, as I mentioned, I always anticipate if students would ask me for some adjustments, they would send me messages in the message. Uh, in uh, the private messenger, so I would say, Sir, may sakit po ako. Could I submit my video three days late? I, I would say, okay, noted. But I would do follow-ups because they might forget the the promise that they would submit it. In. This happens, I go. So okay lang. Basta, you really have to follow up the students in terms of submission or compliance to requirements. Yes. Yeah. But do you give sanctions to them such as uh, deductions whenever they submit uh, I just say they, they, minus three but actually I do not do that oh. well, uh, if you're going to be taking into consideration yung sinasabi nating rubrics nakalagay din doon oh, if you are going to be uh, if you will be submitting for example your project or the assignment at a particular time so it's on time so you get this <laughs> this points also nakalagay naman yung sub rubrics eh, na uh, if this is the performance if this is what was achieved and so on then you get only this particular point yes and then everything is added actually with the rubrics students themselves can already grade yes. their, their mm -hmm. projects or output they would know what grade they will be expecting mm -hmm. based on the rubrics second we agree on the rubrics. Ah, I do that's not, very good. 
na parang, I do not, there's a commitment between the teacher and the students. So you, you would present the rubrics and then we make some adjustments on terms that they could not comply. And let's say this is impossible for us. Uh, can we adjust this? Can we make it, uh, it lower and so on and so forth? So once we agreed on the rubrics, that's it. I think, uh, Katropa Herman, this is really a very good practice because as we have all the time said, when you make an agreement with your learner, and even, let's say, in guidance and counseling, mas naging responsible mas sila responsible sa learning. They understand. they understand that, okay, if they will be able to reach this particular uh, level or yung mga elements of the project, then they know that this is going to be what they will be able to get. At kung hindi mo nila mamit yun, alam din nila kung ano rin naging fault nila. Yes, they know yes. the consequence. Yes. Now, you, you, you do this in almost all of the subjects uh, that you teach? Sa, yes. Uh, uh, mathematics? Opo. Oh, that's very good. I only teach uh, math in the STEM strands. Okay. Uh, sir, you also mentioned a while ago that not all of the topics or the different disciplines within the discipline of math I I been about sa senior high school. Yes. Now, is, I know that there is a standard set by the Department of Education that these are supposed to be the topics that should be taught in the different year levels. Yes. And ito rin yung mga topics na tinuturo sa different strands. Yes, sir. But you also talked a while ago about uh, yung curriculum ng uh, Colegio mm. de San Juan de Letran. Yung question ko is, uh, yung sinabi mo kanina na these are the things that you teach and these are the, the topics that you also teach na nire nyo sa college level and binababa nyo sa senior high school. Are these only exclusive for Colegio San Juan de Letran or are all of the other uh, high schools doing the same thing? We strictly uh, comply with the requirements of DepEd and so with CHED for the college department. But just the same, we have to come up with a Letran mathematics curriculum. Mm -hmm. It is not very exclusive or very elite in terms of... Na, kasi kailangan maging... Paano naging Letran? Yes. How different it is from the public schools, yes. from other Catholic schools, and so on and so forth. So you have to incorporate some... Uh, elements that is all mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in that sense. So. Parang linalagay talaga yung tatak ng San Juan de Letran. Opo. And at the same time po ba, eh, kinocontextualize niyo po maging sa mismong paaralan so that uh, the students would relate the values of Letran to the Definitely, curriculum? we have to pattern it with the ideal of Deus Patria Letran. Mm -hmm. You have to contextualize at the same time, you have to localize Ayan. So let's move naman sa isa pang gusto kong klaruhin na naman. No? Kanina kasi nasabi ni, ni Sir Ipe, Teacher Ipe, na zero failure nga kasi ang rate dahil may mga interventions na ginagawa. No? And nabanggit mo kanya na yung tinatawag na review. No? Paano po, or ano po ang qualifications para isang student ay kailangan niyo mag-review? And ano pa ibang mga procedures po na ginagawa para ma-achieve niyo yung zero failure sa <coughs> mathematics? Uh, it has been my practice to a lot, two days for towards the end of the quarter to conduct a review. So this is a big review. Normally, I hold this in a big uh, venue in one of the halls of, the, of Letran. I would invite students, so open invitation siya. I would ask them to sign, express your intention to attend. But just the same, I would talk to people who need to attend. Mm -hmm. Because there are cases wherein the better ones are the ones attending the review. Mm -hmm. Those who don't need the review anymore. Are not attending. Yes. That so, is the irony of it all. Yes. So you have to talk to them personally. Oh, please attend. You need this. But you don't have to make public announcement of these names. Yes. Kasi you would be embarrassing. Yes, yeah. the student. These are the things that you have to do. Yes. Plus, of course, uh, the review contents must be more or less patterned after what you're going to have. Uh, you provide free handouts. Mm. You provide uh, provide visuals, everything that they would need, and some previous during the review, yeah. so para ma enjoy naman nila yes. konti yung ano. So that gives them more motivation to excel in their subject. You and, have to do these things yes. now. Yes, and uh, do you make it a requisite for all? 
even those who do not need to attend such review classes? As much as possible, I talk to these people who are already good in my class. If you will attend, you will not attend as part of the participants or you will attend as my assistant. Wow. Parang you sit on this group, with this group and this group. So wow. during the computation, you would assist in or you're doing it wrong and so on and so forth. Oh. Parang ganun. Parang peer tutoring. Sir, you mentioned a while ago na you somehow incorporate yung tatak letran yes, sa inyong mm. curriculum. What is the tatak na letran? Oh, okay. Tatak letran. One is moving forward. Like, kasi ariba, ariba, ariba. Na? So, you make mention. You make, uh, you include, one, we include history. Two, we include more of the business sense because Letran as, is known as a business school in the, in the beginning. And then we incorporate more of the preaching, preaching, kasi uh, parang preaching through education ang, okay. ang vision mission namin. Mm -hmm. So let's summarize. In teaching mathematics creatively in senior high school, what are your suggestions as good practices na mga senior high school teachers? In math. In math. One, incorporate technology. Uh, we have Symbolab. This is a, an application available free. This performs almost everything. It simplifies, it expands, it does derivatives, it does integrals, and so on and so forth. So if all you need is provision for Wi-Fi and a mm -hmm. facility. Second, uh, gusto ng bata ngayon yung laging gumagalaw sila. Ah, they don't want okay. to be learning in their chairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. They want to be moving, parang yes. ganun. And that's also good, especially because karamihan sa atin are mga uh, are, are leading sedentary lifestyles mm. by allowing them or requiring them to move around at least. That's Bawas <laughs> calories yet. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's yeah. right. And at the same time, they really have to keep themselves awake. Totoo. Yeah. Though, minsan guilty din ako na kasi gusto mo matapos yung lesson. Ang nangyayari, puro teacher talk. Ikaw na lang lagi ang nagsasalita just to finish the whole curriculum. Uh, guilty ako yan most of the time. But, as much as possible, I would suggest that you provide activities that are millennial in terms. Yes. What do I mean? Minsan nagbibigay ako ng group work na magsiself, magbibigay pictures sila, isesend nila sa group chat, mga ganong-ganong activities para lang ma-enjoy nila yung cell phone and so on and so forth. Now, warning, I think teachers also have got to prepare for the for the entry of Generation Alpha. Because you millennials are already working somehow. Mm. We are now facing Generation Alpha. <coughs> and they are a completely different breed of learners as well. Totoo, totoo. Yes. Uh, I would just like to clarify, what is Generation Alpha? Could you please explain it to us who do not really know about it? I, I, I use kasi generic na millennial. Parang mm. we address everyone as millennial. I, at 56, would claim myself as a millennial. Millennia, <laughs> no? Yeah. Mm. So, Sir Bong, siguro Yes, kung... when you're talking about millennials, these are the children who were born sometime in the 1980s, in the 1980s, uh, okay. 1980s uh, to early 1990s. Mm. Everyone that who are born somehow in the mid-1990s or even in the early 2000s are considered the generation alpha. Oh, so, I yung see. Parang, little by little, yung concept of uh, yung kasi mga millennials that's already almost going to be obsolete because the generation <laughs> alpha are now coming in mm. thank yung, you uh, before that one if i'm not mistaken generation z z um, there there Gen is a z. term for that uh, there is a term for the generation x in generation x if i'm not mistaken i belong to that generation and before that one there was this a uh, baby boomer na generation mm. and then there were there is a generation uh, there is a baby boomer one na generation and then another one which is two these are the individuals who were born after the first the second world war so iba iba yung characteristics nila medyo nagpabilis lang yung pagbago after yung generation x so if you would remember sometime at the 
end of the 1990s, ang dami na sasabi yung Generation X, yung Generation X. They did not know. A few years after that one came the Millennial Generation who were born sometime in the mid-1980s. Depende sa uh, authors na ni, uh, uh, ibibase mo yung definition mo, but more or less, karamihan ng mga authors would agree that when you talk about the Millennials, these are the people who were born sometime in the mid-1980s. Thank you very much, so Katropang I think, Bobby. I learned okay. something new today. Thank you, Teacher Epe, no? I, kasi we also need to... Yes. Yeah. We have uh, another uh, okay. segment this afternoon, but before we proceed, Sir Epe, I would okay. like to inform you that si Ms. Gold Peñaflor is actually sending her regards to you. She's Peñaflor. listening to Ma'am you right Ma'am now. Si Ma'am Ao. <laughs> Bumabati siya ng hello po. Hello, yes. Ma'am Ao. Hi, Ma'am Ao. And I'm all, uh, I would also like to thank uh, another student of mine, former student of mine who is in the Middle thank East you. right now, uh, si um, Sapia. Sapia, thank you very much for watching us this afternoon once again. This afternoon, Katropan Jet, we have another very exciting topic. What is uh, it? This is with regard to teaching, uh, another teaching style this afternoon. So I would like to turn over the microphone to another Katropa natin, si Katropang Portia. Thank you very much for responding to our call despite na medyo uh, last hour yung uh, decision natin. Uh, yes. Yes, well, thank you for having me here. And yes, mga Katropa, thank you for still tuning in to Voice of the Teachers. So we are st very excited. Yeah, and today for our um, stamps episode, wherein we invite various educators to discuss about their principles and strategies. So today our topic will be about constructivism, a paradigm for teaching and learning. Okay, and I have here a very special guest and also a dear friend of mine who um, inv uh, who up to the challenge, no, kahit na. Ano, biglaan. Yes. So, ayan. We have been friends for almost 14 years, wow. and way back to college. And he, he is a college instructor in Infotech Institute in Paranaque, uh, handling English and general education. Yeah, and currently taking up masters in National Teachers College, Mr. Michael Enahi. Um, good afternoon, po. Good afternoon, sa mga listeners natin, and it's a privilege to sit um, with you here. Uh, teacher Ma Michael, how would you want us to address you? Um, sir, Mr. Okay. Opo. <laughs> teacher Michael. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. um, we're teacher kasi, um, even though sometimes nung nagkukuntiyos sila kasi mukha kong babae, I have a long hair, pero um, I want, um, I still, um, I still want to have the respect pa rin. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. as an educator, sir ko, sir uh -huh. Michael. <laughs> Yes, and you have been teaching for how many years? Um, for ten years. For ten um, years. since um um I separated from the co from college in the university, I started teaching napo until this moment of time. We have a very interesting topic. So, a teacher, a katropang Porsche, please introduce our topic this afternoon. Okay, so like what I've said about well, constructivism. So, para sa mga viewers natin, to give more um, knowledge dun sa constructivism. Constructivism is a learning theory that um. How, which explains how people might acquire knowledge and learn. It also suggests that humans construct knowledge and meaning from their experiences. And also, um, constructivism is not a specific pedagogy, and under, but also a reform in our education. Yeah. So, for Sir Michael, you will be able to explain to us, Teacher Michael, about more about constructivism. Okay. Okay, so constructivism. Uh, this um, this point of view, um, constructivism, is very essential to our um, to our um, education system right now, which is the K to twelve program. So um, constructivism, like what my um, teacher Porsche said a while ago, is the development of understanding um, that requires a student, our student, our um, student right now in our generation, to perform and of course to use their cognitive ideas in. Um, making um, what you call this um, in making um, meaning of what they have um, learning inside the classroom. Uh, Teacher Michael, how will you differentiate constructivism strategy for our traditional? So, paano sila nagkakaiba? Kasi nga po yung um, construct, um, constructivism is an um, 
student-centered um, philosophy culture, um, philosophy, wherein we are very much focused on how the student learn about um, the topic that, that being discussed inside the classroom, and we give opportunity to the students on um, using their knowledge, cognitive knowledge, and experience as well, para irrelate yung mga learnings pa. And in this time, in the 21st century learner, we are catering 21st century learner. It's very ano to eh, ito yung talagang um, appropriate teaching method together with progress and um, progressivism. Hmm. Uh, I would like to know how progressivism and constructivism are very much related. Okay, yes. so in some point they are um, quite related in the means of um, constructivism because we, we let our students, our learners to um, make meaning out of the context, of the, out of the um, topic that we are um, taking up sa particular subject that we discuss. And progressivism naman is how they will, um, what you call this one, how they will going to um, relate it in, through experience. Oh, yeah, almost, they have this almost, um, the same. Uh, almost the same. Somehow almost the same, but then yung isa kasi application. Yung progressive, progressive, um, progress, uh, progressivism is somehow um, application and constructivism is a meaning making. Letting, uh, letting the students to express what they have learned through their experience. Mm. Can you please uh, give us a concrete example of the theories or yung approaches na mina mention mo? Okay, for so constructivism. Yes. Okay, so concrete, for example, um, most likely kasi kanina na to nangyong Ms. Morsha, ano yung um, difference ng constructivism doon sa traditional? traditional. Most likely kasi sa traditional um, teaching, way of teaching, we throw um, sa motivation, we throw questions. As a teacher, no? Mag-throw tayo ng questions yes. para um, to lighten up the topic, to start up the topic. So, to raise their inquisitiveness. Yes, the inquisitiveness of the student. So, I relate to siya in a sense na right now, constructivism is same thing in our generation with your questions, but then we let the student, we just facilitate and let the student express their ideas about the question or the answer based on the experience that they have, based on the uh, meaning that they constructed to their mind and knowledge. Then yes. later on, as a teacher, as an, um, what you call this, facilitator of the classroom, isa sum up natin yun to um, take up to the point na kung tama ba yung understanding yes. ng bata. Still, no wrong or right answer. It's the way the students grasp the, uh, what you call this one, their answer um, based on the question. Trope. So there's so, no wrong and right answers. Particularly. So pero it depends on their experiences. Experience related to the topic, of mm -hmm. course. Hindi pa ding lumayo. Kasi pag lumayo, doon na tayo nagkakaroon ng problema doon. As a teacher, like what I said, we are a facilitator. We are the one who will facilitate kung tama ba yung natatahak na discussion or so on. But then, it's student-centered. Let them, uh, let, uh, let us them do it on their way. And we allow mm -hmm. them to process that new learning. Yes, they sir. incorporate nila sa kanilang previous learning as yes, well. Sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so by doing so, they create, uh, let's say, uh, a broader knowledge system mm -hmm. because of the addition of this new learning. Yes, precisely, yes. sir. And also at the same time, you let them connect the previous lessons to the current lesson so that there would be a smooth transition and consistency. Am I right? Yes, sir. That's the point of view of um, constructivism. Um, we don't let, we don't let um, topic to be interchanged to another one, but then um, focus and connected from past, for the previous to the present topic. Um, K-12, to um, that's one of the basis of K-12 to program for um, constructivism. Kaya pumasok doon yung mga strands po. Uh, we let the student learn, uh -huh. apply their um, knowledge on the particular strand, for example, sa, mga, sa grade 11 and grade 12 natin. Same with what? Same with um, junior high school and elementary. Um, yung mga subject is ano na, uh, spiral. Mm -hmm. no? so, Which we mentioned a while ago uh -oh. as well. Uh, yes. Spiral. Para, um, and we let the students work out with that. Well, for those who are not familiar with the term spiral, spiral learning, anong ibig sabihin nun? Okay. Um, dati po kasi, per level, specific, uh, for example, mathematics po, specific lang yung binibigay natin sa level. For example, sa, uh, sa third year or um, grade 9, um, geometry, second, um, grade 8, algebra. But right now, 
in every term, mapasok na siya. Yes. Ipinapasok na siya, integrate na natin yes. siya. Yes, integrate lahat uh, and then lumalaki. lumalaki. Okay. Because dati parang we segregate things na, okay, this is a topic, we only learn this one, this particular, particular subject in this yes. particular year level. Actually, I remember when I was in a particular international study meeting with youth member, uh, youth leaders coming from different parts of Southeast Asia, we talked about our educational system. Mm -hmm. And then we had some friends from Malaysia with whom we talked about yung educational system na natin. And then sabi ko, right now, these are the subjects that I'm taking. And then I mentioned, I am currently taking biology because I was in the second year. And so she asked, don't you teach chemistry, physics, yes. and the other subjects? I said, no, because here in the Philippines, our, uh, uh, our curriculum only requires us to study biology in the second year level. In the third year level, we discuss or we take up chemistry, fourth year physics. So, ganun yung nangyayari. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the new curriculum that we have right now is spiral. spiral parang, yes, connecting everything. Yes. Yeah. Integration from other yeah. subjects and to other levels pa din. Yeah. So, they get a little of something every year <laughs> yes. level. And then, when they go to the next year level, mm -hmm. it's uh, yung medyo mas advanced compared to the previous one. Mm -mm. Yes. Um, could I say, uh, <laughs> is this the r a right example? For, for instance, in science, uh, one would be earth science and then after that would be life science? Um, in spiral approach, yes. that could be. Um, we can integrate that. Like what um, Sir said a while ago, na once, um, once you are um, teaching spiral strategy, then you must you must have this avenue to integrate lessons, connect the lessons, like for example, yung earth science to um, life science, right? Yes. So, kukonnect mo na siya. Oh. So, from one to, from one to another. Mm. Eh, part pa rin yun ng isang, tawag po natin, um, ng isa pa rin um, level of education. And that's even interesting because you can see the interconnectedness of yes. these. When you yes. talk about earth science, for example, you also talk about geology. And then later on, when you talk about geology, when you do the excavation and so on, you see yung mga uh, skeletons or yung mga, uh, how do you call this? Yung mga uh, artifacts? Yung mga fossils. Yung mga fossils. And then you can also talk. Uh, it will open a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's also uh, connected to biology, which is life science. Yes. And then we also discuss why things happen this way and so on, and then what were the common minerals that you can find, mm -hmm. or that were abundant during this particular age. So, nagkoconnect na rin yung chemistry. Mm -hmm. So, yung sinasabi natin na spiral, spiral learning, you learn a little as you go along the way. Yes. So. That's right. And another thing I just want to add, um, constructivism, has um, its variety. Okay, number one is um, yung educational variety, wherein it's the teacher, um, it's in the hand of the teacher to start up lesson discussion, wherein yun yung pag-aaralan ng mga bata. Doon ni ikot, doon yung, doon gagawa ng meaning, I mean, meaning making yung mga sujante natin, as well as yung knowledge, inculcating the knowledge of the students to, um, to reason out for the particular question or topic na na-discuss natin. Second is yung, um, so, um, curricula um, variety, wherein right now in our system, in education system, we have this K-12. I keep on repeating this kasi nga gusto kong emphasize na yung K-12 is most likely taking up the constructivism approach. Mm -hmm. And lastly, is the so sociological, um, so sociological um, variety, wherein the acceptance of the society dun sa approach natin. Like for example, yung K-12, how they accept it from... Um, from basic um, teaching, yung, yung term natin is yung, um, yung past way of teaching natin. Traditional. The traditional, traditional. Yes, right now, the traditional teaching method na ginagawa natin. Just na nag-move on na tayo to another one. And we let our student um, do the learning by themselves. Just facilitator. Kasi as we remember, tayo natuto tayo sa, sa teacher eh. Kung ano yung pinid ng teacher, yun na yun. But in constructivism, in our generation, how the society will accept that? The, ang makabataan ngayon, they know a lot of things. Yes, and mm. this is also keeping with the times because the manner of how many of the children right now learn mm. is completely different from how it used to be maybe about 20, 30 years ago mm. or even 40 years ago. Yes. So we are now departing from the traditional manner because many of our learners this time around are super independent. Mm -hmm. They know how to locate and where to locate the information that they need. Yes. Yes. It's like it's promoting uh, this theory 
it's promoting learning and reflection process yes. para sa ating mga students. Yes, but at the same time, let us not forget that we also have to teach them how to regulate their learning and to segregate from uh, segregate what is real from what is not real, what is applicable from mm -hmm. not applicable, and what is practical from impractical. Because the tendency for our students these days is that they think they can absorb everything, but in fact, it's a tall order. Maybe yes. con be being conscious about, like, yeah, in conscious about critical thinking, you know? what yes. they need to believe and what not. So, yun. Okay. Yun nga po, yun, the point of genius, sir, no? It's um, something to do with the idea of, um, idea of um, Jin Pia J, no? Who, so, siya yung, ano, fa yung yes, founder yung ng, ng constructivism, mm -hmm. together with um, Liv Vygotsky. Mm -hmm. No, the idea that all of the students, all of the learners, they have this um, old, um, old, simple thought of the particular, um, particular event, then using that, representing that um, event or memories or knowledge into taking up new um, information, new knowledge, based, making, uh, um, by the means of meaning making. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much, Sir Michael. Thank, thank you, you Sir. Okay, any last words that you would like to say to mm -hmm. our audience before we go? Okay, so to the audience, um, especially to our young generation right now, keep on striving, mag-aral ng mabuti, because you have you have it all. Our education system offering um, offering all good things for you to finish your studies. It's up to our students because they are very much um, um, exposed to computer and the rest of the gadgets right now. So they neglect. Mm -hmm. So in our part, because we are um, maaral tayo, eh. sila kasi ngayon um, yung mga bata din, um, take advantage of education. So you have all the things in education right now in the system of education so mag-aral na magbuti magtapos wag magpapatalo sa kahirapan okay. yan ang lagi kong sinasabi sa mga estudyante ko okay so that's sir michael from informatics um infotech infotech well, i'm sorry yeah. Info i'm sorry infotech college <laughs> Info uh, Info okay. Okay. my my mistake now before we go i would like to greet some of my friends who watch our show this afternoon, I would like to greet si Ms. Lori Rontal, who was my former student sa mm -hmm. Wimsu mm -hmm. External Studies Unit in Pagadian City. Uh, a, a dormmate of mine in Silliman University, si Sir Nan Villarreal, who is currently in Dipolog, Sambuanga del Norte. Uh, si Sapia Hussaini, who's in Kuwait right now. A former student of mine in high school way back in um, the late 1990s. Uh, si Ruel Bulanon, another doormate of mine, who is here in Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. Si Alex Marcelo, another doormate of mine way back in the 1990s at Silliman University. And si Ma'am Adelaida De Perio of the APSA, the Asia Pacific uh, Services and Assessment. They are our partners of the Voice of the Teachers. Um, si Benji Oliva, former commissioner of the National Youth Commission and also a batchmate in the National Youth Parliament sometime in the early 2000s. Si Pamela Fernandez from Bohol, who was a schoolmate of mine in Suleiman University. My brother-in-law, si Jesse Sagun, who is in the United States, particularly in Texas. Si Gigi Mali in Pagadian City, another good friend of mine. Si Marical Maric Maricor Yuzon, uh, who is in um, uh, somewhere in Europe or in the Middle East. Thank you very much for listening to us. A good friend, Charles Amoroso, and also Rostin Merlin. To all of my friends who viewed our episode here at DWD Catropa Radio, the voice of the teachers, thank you very much, and we hope that you will once again visit our show in our future episodes. Katropang Jen. Yes, uh, I would also like to thank those who have watched the, uh, what do you call this, this uh, watch party, especially my former professors and my former classmates in the master's level, pati sa college. Tos, Pati yung mga, ano, yung mga high school friends ko, lalo na si Dan Ariola na best friend ko sa high school. Uh, pahabol, si Jalil Giling, mm -hmm. who, eh, who comes from Muntinlupa, is mm -hmm. also watching us right now. Yes. Yes. yes, I would like also to thank um, my co-teachers in Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School for watching. Mm -hmm. Lagi silang excited to our show. Also, our college friends like Stephanie Elopre and Alex Ignacio. Alexander Ignacio for Shannon watching. Mario. And Ms. Cheryl Gangan, who is also a fan of our show. Infotech, I'm very sorry, it's Infotech. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, Infotech. Infotech Institute. Institute. Okay. I'm really very sorry. <laughs> We're very happy for you for you lending us, lending us <laughs> the, one of your college professors to be our guest this afternoon. Okay. In behalf of Dr. Ray Samson, this is your host, Bobby Ancheta. Jet Ramos. Portia Ebol. And we are the, the voice of the, the teachers. teachers. Yeah. Thanks. Sila'y mga tunay na mandirigma. Go over the area! Go, 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 go,